The first of two French teams competing back to back. There's 15 year old Lou Koch and 16 year old Ivan Melnik. And 71.09, their personal best. They'll need a 77.74 to take the lead. So, certainly, absolutely within their realm as they will skate the free dance to Swan Lake, a remix. Great pickup on that lift right at the end. That was, a, like, a surprise. Absolutely amazing. And the difficult entry onto their stationary lift. And when we, as I, or as we near the end of the Junior Grand Prix series, and I cast my mind back, the choreographic character step sequence from this Ice Dance team is one of the most memorable pieces for me. I absolutely love the quirkiness, the musicality, the staccato sharpness. So, so good to see. <sighs> sort of a takeoff. You know, it... It's, it's playful. Aha, uh -huh. brilliant. And, and so much time has obviously gone into that as they're greeted by Tiffany Zagorski, the brilliant ice dancer who's working with them here. A shame. Ivan obviously had a, a fall through the latter stages of the program, and yeah. that paved the way for some bad And GOE some shakiness near the end as well. You can see that just a little bit off, but... 
an uh, interesting dynamic. Lou is she's an incredible skater. Look at you can see the epic commitment to her free legs and sh sharpness through her body. She was so delivered on the interpretation as well, and just in the relatively early stages of development, it's managing that dynamic between the team. Great changes of position, great ice covers through the rotational lift. Interesting, you can see Fabien Bursa, the coach of the French team, yet to come, keeping his eye on the proceedings for the competitors. Just off camera there now. This is a shame we can't relive the musicality of it because it was such fun. And you can see different dynamics and their energy within it here. <laughs> it, it, it's, that. it's a real piece or part of the program where you can capture the judges emotionally maybe a little bit more because you're coming right at them and they see such detail of course they're evaluating it and whatnot but it's a more playful part yes just great work this was the brilliant difficult yeah. entry and now shortly the one foot i don't think he managed to sustain that for the time that he wanted yeah. and that was where you could see ivan's legs just going a little bit at the end There. Coach Karine Aribert, we've seen her on the Junior Grand Prix at many of the events. Great to have somebody like Tiffany Zagorski stepping in to help and support here. They are fortunate skaters to have that quality of influence supporting them and educating them. Yeah, we've talked about the work of Karine Aribert. Mm -hmm. You know, is doing such a nice job uh, for not just this season, n numerous seasons, but we've seen some really creative and innovative work come out of that camp. And I think many of the dance teams exploiting some of the new criteria this year. As with every year, the Ice Dance Technical Committee releasing little changes and tweaks to the requirements for the free dance. And fun to see skaters exploiting it and playing with it and embracing some of the choreographic elements as well. Well, out of the eight elements, four were under review. It's all cleaned up now. 71.09, their season's best. I think they're going to beat that right now with a 75.68 season's best. For Lou and Yvonne. That's third in the free dance with a total competition score of 125.98. And that will put them currently into second place overall.